Hello everyone, this is Sister Mary. Welcome to Homesteading Haven. I just want to give a quick update of day number three for the garden. You can see how Brother John got everything tilled up nicely. And I'm just going to walk down through here and show you. I left the packets so I would remember what was planted where for the time being. And of course you can tell the rows that have already been covered over, they are done. Now we are about to get some rain, so I won't be videoing very long at all. But we have some green beans, some bell pepper, there's some okra right there. Then we've got some peas here. And there's the onion. There's also peas back over here onion. I think the wind has blowed some of my packets, but this is some carrots all the way right there. Then I put some Spanish variety peppers. Then of course we have uh, more of those. And then I started with the banana pepper, moved on down a little bit. Some more banana pepper is right there. Then I moved on down and started some squash. Not the yellow, but just that butternut. And then some radishes. And this is radishes all the way down. Mixed variety and then uh, just the red. So the next one, eggplant. So I left these packets out for everybody to be able to see. Plus me. There's eggplant from there to there. And then... I still have this open right here, and this should be zucchini, and I've got to come back over and cover that in just a minute before it starts raining. Now, we're getting to some onion sets. We went to our local hardware store this morning. There's our onion set. I'm going to stop right here because you can read seed packets to tell how to space them out. But on the onions, you put, I call it the base. So there's where your sprout comes up. You know, the green part that some people eat. But this part right here, that's the whole onion. And you're just spacing them, I guess about six inches apart. And I've got to come back through here and cover all of these up. But we like onions, we like tomatoes. So there's a whole row of those onion sets. Now, something else that is fun. Let me just share this with you. They're still out. If you have ever had a bag of potatoes and they started going bad, and you get eyes on them, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Most of the time, you go ahead and throw the potato away or you peel off this eye right here and uh, you'll just peel your potato, potato and wash it and cut it up and do whatever you're going to do. But when you are planting, it's about every six inches, the same way as the onion, put the eye up. Eye up. There's that one. If you can see, I took some potatoes that we're already getting eyes. And I'm also going to plant some potatoes in a swimming pool that I had some greens in. Because those greens have already come up. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Eyes up. And I'll come back over in, in a little bit and pull all the dirt over the plant. Now, let me walk on down. We're going to have potatoes here. I had started some seed tomatoes right here on this row. And then to there. And then I left it open. And I'm going to leave it open until I can get some tomato uh, sets. Now, I have... Four half rows of corn. You do half rows to make the stalks able to block wind 
from each other and help each other grow. So instead of just one single row, if you've got more, if you've got a larger garden like this, if you will plant this corn, in if you've got two rows okay but if you if you can do four so it's just four half rows and then that left me i'll go ahead and show you i'm gonna have my tomatoes in between uh my potatoes and then you'll see right here i've got potatoes already again if i had Counted out my rows before I probably wouldn't have done my potato I would have put all my potatoes together but somehow I got I got got it off all right so then I got two empty rows here that I'll come back and do something else these are already filled in so I know you're just seeing a lot of dirt I think these tomato packets have just blown down here I don't believe that's what's there see how these have flipped over okay so now we're getting into the cantaloupe and some of the, I believe this is cantaloupe again. Yep. So we've got cantaloupe on this end and everybody's favorite cantaloupe and watermelon. We also have some squash plants out. And we also have some cucumber out. So I left the packet out for you. Now over a little bit, we have started with three trees. They're spaced out about 20 foot apart. So we have a pear tree here. Well, let me go back down this way. An apple tree here. I was debating whether or not I wanted to go get more before I couldn't get them. But we spaced them out far enough that I can decide if I want to go plant some more. Also, these bushes. I want to show you these bushes. Here is the last of the three. And I believe this is peaches. Yep. All right. Brother John says he thinks that's a weed. I'm not sure, so I put a block by it because this used to be a field of like uh, blackberry. So right here, can you see how that's, let me see if I can get down there. This is a blueberry bush. I need to get the leaves away from it, but it's doing very well. And I had just left one run, but I think I, I might go and just get another one for this spot. Then here's blackberry. I have been told that blackberry bushes will seed out, meaning that it may be there, but you may have more. And look, I had planted this and I told you it was dormant. We'll see if it's going to do anything or not. And there was one there. And there's still something right there with a little white tag on it. can't read it anymore because it was planted through the winter but it's still a bush some kind of grapes or something and then here's our lemon I know poor pitiful lemon tree doesn't look very good right now it will either come back or or not make anything but the Lord says to practice and I believe that we have started the practice in the planning growing, and then reaping. So planting, sowing, and reaping. And I'm going to tell you, I said it before, this has been some labor. Of course, Brother John did have the wonderful idea with that blade to put it on its side and help us with the rows, but we had done about four or five by ourselves, and we thought we're not going to get finished with this any time yesterday. So we were able to get finished. We were able to get more seed in the ground. And then this morning, go to the hardware store, get the onion sets, get the corn, 
and I've gotten those out and now I'm putting the potatoes before it starts to rain because I don't know how bad the wind has been on the the uh, sound but it's getting windy and I believe it's gonna rain any time now which will be very good for this freshly sown garden so God bless you all may the Lord keep you and protect you from the enemy in Jesus mighty name amen until next time this is Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven.